Did you know, in June 1964, the Beatles released Long Tall Sally. This EP included four newly recorded songs. If the Beatles were the champions of the single market and the album market, they were just as, if not more successful with EPs, dominating the market completely. Their first EP spent an impressive 64 weeks on its respected EP chart. Released a month before their iconic A Hard Day's Night album, the Long Tall Sally EP featured a unique lineup of tracks, with three of the songs being among the least popular and least known Beatle releases. However, it also includes one very well-known cover. Let's dive into the songs featured on this EP and let's explore their significance, or lack thereof. The standout track on this EP is Paul McCartney's Long Tall Sally. <laughs> The Beatles had been performing this old Little Richard cover throughout their tours for years, and McCartney's vocals on the recorded version are truly remarkable. His energetic delivery and dynamic range showcases his prowess as a vocalist, cementing the song as a fan favorite. Following Long Tall Sally is Lennon's I Call Your Name, a song originally intended for the Hard Day's Night album, but likely dropped to its similarity to Lennon's You Can't Do That. Lennon wrote the song before the Beatles even had formed though, but had given it away earlier in 1963 to Billy J. Kramer. A rare version of I Call Your Name exists, performed at the BBC, but it has never been officially released, only surfacing on a few Beatle bootlegs. Another song in this EP is Lennon's cover of Larry Williams' Slow Down. Originally released as a B-side to Williams' hit single, Dizzy Miss Lizzie, this studio version of Slow Down is quite weak compared to the BBC version though, which was included on an official Beatle release. This studio version has a more silly feel to it. Ringo's contribution to this EP EP comes in the form of a cover of Carl Perkins' Matchbox. Unfortunately, this track is often considered one of the most forgettable Beatles songs ever released. While George Harrison's guitar work is commendable, Ringo's vocals and George Martin's piano piece fail to leave a lasting impression. If this is the type of performance that would have been on Ringo's song on a hard day's night, then we, as Beatles fans, are fortunate he got sick and did not have enough time to record a track for the album. This EP was released as the Beatles were in the middle of their world tour, performing in Sydney, Australia. In retrospect, despite having some weak performances, most notably Lennon's cover of Slow Down and Ringo's Matchbox cover, this EP does have a bit of charm, being an extension of a Hard Day's Night album, highlighted by McCartney's great Little Richard cover and Lennon's penned I Call Your Name. The sources for this video are primarily the Beatles Bible website, which is a great website, check it out, and the book Revolution in the Head by Ian McDonald. With that being said, this video is based primarily on my own thoughts, views, and words. So if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave a comment sharing your thoughts and memories of the Beatles' iconic Long Tall Sally EP.